Quiet. Oh yeah, no, I've got the quiet thing going. They're like, they, they got so bored, they were filming the, the, the Echo Park Lake. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, this is the most boring thing. Someone <laughs> <laughs> My name is Joseph Centeno. I am chef owner of Baco Mercat, Barama, Orson Winston, and Ludlow in downtown LA. I was attracted to downtown because of the architecture, because of the price point. It was accessible, it was edgy, and I mean, it's just a great place to be. Baco Mercat is inspired heavily by Spanish, Eastern and Southern Mediterranean cooking. Those are flavors that I really, really love. Baco really was, in its first form, all of the restaurants in one. So I had a very wide range of cooking and flavors going on. And as each restaurant opened, like Bar Ma, I extracted everything that was Mexican. And then when Orson Winston opened, it's Italian and Japanese, so I extracted everything that was Italian and Japanese cooking. And then when I opened Ledlow, it was really just kind of taking an American comfort approach. So I really got to start to focus on each of the restaurants in their own way. These are the puffy tacos. It's a corn masa that we souffle. It's a dish that I grew up with in San Antonio. Growing up in Texas, I'm very multicultural. Uh, my family is Mexican, Spanish, German, French, Irish, English, and Polish in heritage, and Tex-Mex in spirit. So you had all these different cultures that kind of came together and they all had their styles of food, and they all just started to overlap. And what I've tried to do is cross cultural lines and integrate different combinations of flavors you wouldn't normally think would go together, but taste and feel like they always have gone together. And here's the shrimp puppy taco. So we started Bar Ma. It's automatic. I was with my friend Travis Young, who I met when I first moved to LA. We became roommates. How's your cat, Travis? Pretty good. Genevieve Hartson is my director of operations. Like, I don't know anybody who can work as hard as her. And Jeremy Fox, he's an incredible cook. And we worked together at Manresa, and we headed to Silver Lake Wine. So Lake Wine is uh, Randy and April's place. It's a real fun place to go and hang out and just kind of learn about wine. What's up, Mother Parker? How we doing? How you doing, brother? You want a drink? Randy and April, who wasn't there, they're like super cool cats and have an awesome wine shop. So what are we trying today? So this is super cutting edge Cabernet Franc, Loire Valley, all organic, high dynamic, vegan, everything. That's awesome. I always picture Joseph like that movie Good Will Hunting. <laughs> Instead of like the hallway and the chalkboard. But Joseph is like the janitor. He's like mopping the floor. There's like a recipe on the wall. And then he makes the dish. And then the next day the fucking instructor comes in. And they're like, who made this? And then Joseph puts the fucking mop down. And then the teacher, hey, what are you doing? Like, man, fuck you. And just walks away. But, you know. So you guys are going to elementary after this? Yeah. Have you guys all been to Alimento before? Yeah. Super yeah. pumped. Thank you, brother. And then we went to Alimento. What does everybody want to order? Tortellini and Oh, yeah, that looks so good. I've never been. But... Oh, really? Never. It's delicious. What's up, brother? Zach Brooks met us, and he's just one guy who can always make me laugh. And uh, Dylan Ho met us there, and he's a great friend and incredible photographer. All right, let's go. Zach Pollock opened up Alimento about a year ago. His food's like really dialed in, and he's just really making his version of northern and southern Italian cooking. And, you can just tell, it's real soulful. How do you think we're doing? Maybe six minutes, seven minutes of usable footage? How are we doing? How much? 
Is that pickle back row? Is that chicken sandwich? That's so good. This is Alimento. It's a quasi-Italian, quasi-Los Angeles restaurant. We're small, 54 seats. It's nominally Italian, but it definitely has a lot of influence coming from the neighborhood, well, the this city at least. Yeah. For instance, the tortellini are inspired by, well, one, obviously, the tortellini in Bologna, but also the Chalangbao of the San Gabriel Valley, which is just over the hill here, 10 minutes away. Uh, I've seen like 280 grateful death shows. You're lying. I swear to God. You are full of shit. 280 shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, they were amazing. That's crazy, dude. Once Jerry died, I was done. No, that's why I started cooking. Was because I had to like, shit, I gotta get a job. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Everything was awesome. Thanks, brother. Good. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, please. We're going to go to Normandy right now, and then we're going to go just go back to the restaurant and oh, yeah? whip a little, a little something. And if you How's that great? Awesome. Bye. Uber? Was it? It was amazing. <laughs> it was so fucking good. So where are we going next, Joseph? We're going to the Normandy Club. Y'all didn't drink nearly as much as I thought you were going to, given the Listen. nature of this show. Yes, <laughs> yeah, exactly. we, we've been talking about that. We had we one bottle of wine. I know. We know. What the fuck was that about? We're already feeling very insecure about it. We run a reputable business. <laughs> it reminds me of the one with. Uh, uh, Daniel Patterson, where he goes to Big <laughs> You should be drunk off your ass right the, now. The more docile. The avant-garde approach. <laughs> yeah, well, it's still early. Bing, bang, bong, bing, bang, ba, bong, bing, bang, bong, bing. Then we went to the Normandy Club and they just do incredible cocktails and know how to run bar programs and it's just no bullshit. I'm gonna get the Bloody Mary. Awesome. I'll have the daiquiris. So three daiquiris, Bloody Mary, spritz, and old fashioned. We have fucking spring break? What the hell just happened? Guys, Everyone's getting daiquiris. Daiquiris are the new black. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that I ordered a pina colada because I feel like I ordered wrong. <laughs> Everyone should be able to look at themselves in the morning. Thanks. Oh wow, perfect. Talk about advice. <laughs> 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 a bunch of yawns. Hey, everybody. Sorry. 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 <laughs> she got a, a sick guy over here <laughs> yawning in the back. <laughs> I can barely breathe in my nose. Thank God for editing. Yeah, right? We've seen the episodes, so we, we know how, how crazy it can get. And I guess we're all at the point now where we have to get up too early and living with a, a hangover all day, it hurts too much. <laughs> and then we headed back to Orson Winston. So guys. All right, give it to All right, hey, everybody, thank you for coming out. Um, now we're gonna cook, so. Cheers. <laughs> now we're doing food from Ledlow. Uh, we're gonna do a vegetable crudite and then we're gonna make a um, egg sandwich. Really simple. It's basically everything that's like just great that's in season right now. Just something that's like light and healthy and relatively speaking. So now we're gonna make egg sandwich. 
I wanted to kind of take it back to like doing a deviled eggs salad, but make it into a sandwich that uh, kind of took me back as a kid. You don't want it to be too wet. So this is the egg sandwich. All right, everybody can eat. This is uh, Orson Winston. This is Betty, my much better half. I guess to kind of keep myself level, I keep my backpack at the back door. I think Chris Rock said that, just in case like the real owner comes home. Because sometimes I don't <laughs> believe that, like all of it's like happening and hasn't blown up. But so far, so good. He just smells food. Yeah. <laughs>